What's up guys, Vengeance has finally went off the air, and I gotta say, Vengeance came back with a bang. It was a great pay-per-view in my opinion. I really enjoyed the whole card. I thought it was just a great show overall, and some great things happened. A lot of a lot of surprises, I guess you could call them. A lot of, a lot of wow moments, especially. Uh, and uh, not everybody won that I wanted to see win, but that didn't take away from the greatness that was Vengeance 2011 because there was a lot of great things, like I said. And let's get to it. Air Boom, they successfully defend the WWE Tag Team titles against Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger. They opened the match, or they opened the pay-per-view, I should say, and I gotta say they did a great job. A great tag team match in my opinion. A nice amount of time, thirteen minutes. Air boom, they do win the match. Evan Bourne hits the shooting star press on Dolph Ziggler. And the crowd really loved this match. I really loved it as well. A lot of great near falls, a lot of great tag work from both teams, especially the heel tag team. They did a lot of great heel things in this tag team match. And I enjoyed it. And uh Dolph Ziggler. Well, he had to wrestle twice. He didn't get a single break after this match. He had to go right to the second match. He had to defend that United States title against Zack Ryder. He didn't win his first match, but he was lucky enough to get the win against Zack Ryder. He successfully defended that U.S. title. Uh, the crowd really dug Zack Ryder. A lot of let's go Ryder chants throughout the whole match. And Dolph Ziggler, he was taking bumps like crazy in the first match, and he didn't stop in the second match. It was a damn good match. It was only six minutes, but it was still good in my opinion. Ziggler knocks Ryder's head off with a vicious super kick, and I gotta say, it was a good match. Third match of the night, it was the Divas title match. Beth Phoenix defends that title against Eve Torres. And I gotta say, it, I, this match really shocked me. I thought this was a damn good Divas match. Seven minutes long, I thought it was a good amount of time, and Beth Phoenix successfully defends that title against Eve Torres. You almost thought that Eve was going to get that win. She blocks the glam slam, and I thought, oh god, she's going to get that quick pin. Luckily, Beth kicks out. Finally, Beth's able to get the glam slam on her again. She finally hits it and gets the win, but damn, Eve Torres did a great job in this match, and I'm really impressed. Overall, damn good match. Next up was Christian and Sheamus. This was a great little match in my opinion. I thought both Christian and Sheamus did a great job. Back and forth action, tons of near falls. Sheamus counters a spear, hits the bro kick, knocks Christian's head off, and gets the win. I was kind of hoping to see Christian win, but it's all good. Next up, The Miz and R-Truth taking on Triple H and CM Punk. This match didn't really go the way I was expecting. I was kind of thinking Triple H and CM Punk were going to get the win. But with the help of Kevin Nash, The Miz and R-Truth got the win. That's right. Kevin Nash made his return yet again, interfering in another match. That didn't really bug me. You know, it didn't really bother me that Kevin Nash interfered. Triple H was on the outside. Kevin Nash comes through the crowd. He clocks Triple H in the head. CM Punk gets distracted with Kevin Nash. The Miz and R-Truth somehow get back into the ring while Kevin Nash is beaten up on Triple H. They hit this finisher, this new tag team finisher called Little Jimmy's Finale. It's a combination of both of their finishers mixed up into one move. Kind of a cool move, actually. And uh, CM Punk got pinned, and they win. But I gotta say, overall, it was a great match. The spot of the match was when Triple H got Jackknife powerbombed in the middle of the ring by Kevin Nash. It was vicious looking. They showed a ton of replays, and I'm not so sure if Triple H is 100% okay after that spot right there because he landed a little wrong, in my opinion. He landed on his shoulder for one, so I'm thinking he's got a little bit of shoulder problem now after that. But anyways, uh, it was a damn good match, in my opinion. Next up, we have Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes. Now, Randy Orton got the win. I'm not happy about that whatsoever. I was really thinking that this is the match where Cody Rhodes is going to get the win he needs and just further cement himself as a main event contender. Well, he didn't get the win, but he still looked great in the match. I thought Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes did a fantastic job. Rhodes took control of the beginning of the match, and he looked phenomenal. 
from there it just went kind of back and forth back and forth near fall here near fall there finally at the end Randy Orton gains full control of the end he hits the RKO he gets the win but I gotta say Cody Rhodes he looked great in the match even though he did lose but he still looked great damn good match let's get to the next match the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line the big show Mark Henry I wasn't too sure about this match you know two big guys in the ring doesn't really appeal to me however these guys did a great job okay double clothesline spot I thought that was pretty cool these guys both charge each other they hit a clothesline on one another they get laid out I was like oh that's kinda cool that's reminisce of uh, WrestleMania 6 with the Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan there's a ton of near falls in this match as well a couple cool things as well about this match is Mark Henry kicks out of two choke slams and one of these choke slams came from the top rope I mean it was really awesome Big Show kicks out of the World's Strongest Slam, so you have both guys kicking out of finishers left and right, and then finally, the spot of the night, Mark Henry goes for the superplex on the Big Show, he hits the superplex, and the ring implodes just like it did in 2003 with Brock Lesnar and the Big Show. So the Big Show is involved with two superplexes that imploded two rings, and that was it for the match they stopped the match there was no winner so Mark Henry is still the champion which I am happy about that they got the big card out to get the big show out of the ring they tried to help Mark Henry get out but Mark Henry wasn't having any of that so that was that I thought it was a pretty damn good match in my opinion the ending was really cool as well but now we have one more match and we have a ring that's broke so what in the world are we gonna do now well, John Laurinaitis comes out and assures everybody that the match will happen, and it does. ADR putting the title on the line against John Cena, last man standing match. I love this match. I thought this was the match of the night. It was damn near 30 minutes long, and wow, a lot of stuff happened in this match that just made me go, holy shit. <laughs> uh, Cena walks out with a brand new John Cena shirt, rise above the hate. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, they're in the match with a broken ring so the cool thing about that is that John Cena and Alberto Del Rio are gonna have to reach deep down into their arsenal of maneuvers and maybe pull out different moves out of the hat you know what I'm saying uh, which is what they did for the most part uh, they kind of they had to be creative because there was no ring ropes to bounce off of uh, so they did a little bit of grappling on the inside of the ring a lot of grappling on the outside they went to the backstage area and wrestled they went up on stage uh, John Cena got thrown into the big giant V sitting on stage I thought that was pretty cool uh, Alberto Del Rio sets up a table he starts climbing a piece of scaffolding and then John Cena grabs him and he falls through the table let's see ADR gets attitude adjusted through the Spanish announce table uh, the Miz and our truth come out they attack John Cena so instead of the referee counting out ADR he attends the John Cena for some reason so uh, ADR saved right there finally both ADR and John Cena are laid out and the ref is counting them both out uh, they both somehow get to their feet and then ADR grabs the world championship title he cracks Cena right across the head with it and wins. John Cena gets counted out and ADR is still the WWE Champion. I thought it was a great match. I really enjoyed it and there was all kinds of craziness going on in this match and I gotta say overall this pay-per-view was very entertaining. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. What'd you like about Vengeance? What'd you dislike? This is Gold Dizzy. Peace out.